Good morning. Welcome to Fall Commencement 2017. Would you please remain standing for the invocation, which will be offered by Dr. Jamie Mantooth, Executive Director, Office of Enrollment Services and Student Engagement. Good morning, everyone. You're invited to pray with me. Almighty God, we are grateful and honored to be here today celebrating the accomplishments of these graduates. In your wisdom, you have allowed obstacles to make them strong, faculty and staff mentors to encourage them, and gentle reminders along the journey of how much they are truly loved and valued. Thank you, God, for the experiences, the lessons learned, knowledge gained, and the life preparations that have been made here. As our graduates prepare to take the next step in their journey, we pray your blessings will follow them. We pray they will have clarity of vision as new decisions present themselves. We pray they will have discernment in old and new relationships. We pray for a thankful heart so that we may appreciate the process as much as the product. Thank you to God for the families and friends represented here. So many of them made personal sacrifices so the successes that we see here today could actually happen. Their love and devotion to their UTM student is evident, and so many of our graduates would not be here today without that. Thank you for creating us, for sustaining us, and for hearing us. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Mantooth. Please be seated. Please join me in thanking Ms. Delana Easley for our processional and recessional music. Ms. Easley is a lecturer of music in the Department of Music. Thank you, Delana. She performed today on a Steinway piano and the University of Tennessee at Martin is proud to be an all Steinway school, part of an elite group of schools and conservatories around the world to hold that title. Welcome again to the UT Martin Fall Commencement 2017. We are very pleased to have parents, friends, faculty and staff, and of course today's graduates with us. Today's graduating class represents 55 different Tennessee counties, in 15 states, including Alabama, Arkansas, Arizona, California, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, New York, North Carolina, and North Dakota. We also have graduating students from the nations of China, Kenya, and Saudi Arabia. That totals graduates from four different countries. To our graduates, Good luck to each of you, and be assured that the faculty and staff wish you the very best. Remember that you are soon to be a part of an alumni group numbering over 46,000 UT Martin graduates around the world. I want to also specifically acknowledge the parents, spouses, and other relatives and friends with us today. Your support has been critical. We thank you and invite you to join us for reception following the conclusion of the ceremony. There's a third group that has been critical to the success of today's graduates. That group is our faculty. I know them as colleagues and as dedicated professionals. Today's graduates will remember the faculty for their wisdom and for their counsel. Our graduates' success in life will be impacted by the time and effort and energy placed into them by our wonderful faculty, UT Martin. Would our distinguished faculty please stand and let's express our appreciation for what they mean to us and our students. I'm going to recognize a few additional faculty and staff and I ask that each of you please remain standing when your name is called. And I'd like to ask our audience to hold our applause until everyone is introduced. Our mace bearer this morning is Dr. Paula Gale, Professor of Soil Science. Dr. Gale is a University of Tennessee Alumni Association Distinguished Professor. Our processional marshals are as follows. 
Faculty Senate President, Dr. Chris Caldwell. Faculty Senate Vice President, Dr. Renee Lafleur. Interim Vice Chancellor for Finance and Administration, Ms. Petra McPherson. And Vice Chancellor for University Advancement, Dr. Andy Wilson. This year's recipient of the Cunningham Outstanding Teacher Scholar Award is Dr. Paula Gale, Professor of Soul Science. Our recipient of the Academic Advisor Award is Dr. Jack Grubaugh, Professor of Biological Sciences. The UT Alumni Association Outstanding Teacher Award recipients are Ms. Alicia Maya Donaldson, Associate Professor of Social Work, and Dr. Ashley Kilborn, Associate Professor of Marketing. Thanks to each of you for your contributions to the University of Tennessee at Martin. You will note in your program the name of a retiring faculty member. We want to thank her for her years of service to this institution and to all of our retirees. Also with us today is Dr. Joe DiPietro, President of the University of Tennessee System. Please join me in thanking Dr. DiPietro for joining us today. He will bring words to our graduates later in the program as the degrees are conferred. I would also like to introduce our Board of Trustee members who are with us today. Would each of you please stand as I call your name and remain standing. Mr. Crawford Gallimore, a member of the University of Tennessee Board of Trustees, appointed in 2008 from Martin. Mr. Gallimore is a UT Martin alumnus with a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration and currently the Chief Financial Officer of the Hamilton Riker Company. Ms. Julia Wells from Jackson is a graduate of, the, of UT Knoxville and is Vice President of Marketing Services for the Pixweek Company. She was appointed to the board in 2014. Our trustees are important to the University of Tennessee and especially to UTM as members of the governing board of the trustees and of the UT system. Please join me in thanking these trustees for their commitment to the board and especially for what they do for us locally at UT Martin. Also with us today is Mr. Mitch Pollard, UT Martin Alumni Council President and 1993 UT Martin alumnus. Mitch will bring closing remarks and a greeting from the UT Martin Alumni Council at the end of today's program. I am now pleased to introduce our special music for today, the UT Martin Percussion Ensemble. They will perform Catfish by Mark Applebaum.
Thank you for that incredible performance. We are delighted to welcome our commencement speaker, Ms. Meg Kennard Hardy. Megan Kennard Hardy, known professionally as Meg Kennard, is a political and legal affairs reporter for the Associated Press. A Memphis native, she graduated from St. Mary's Episcopal School for Girls and received her bachelor's in international politics from the Walsh School of Foreign Service at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., with a concentration in international security. Her desire to work for the CIA was altered when an opportunity to serve on staff for a student newspaper, the Georgetown Independent, changed her trajectory. Meg interned for the United States House of Representative Committee for Government Reform and for the Washington Post before becoming assistant online editor for National Journal. A chance conversation at a bar in Columbia, South Carolina, opened the door for a career with the Associated Press, where she is now in her 12th year in what she considers the greatest news organization in the world. She was awarded AP Staffer of the Year in 2008. Meg covered every major candidate during the 2016 presidential campaign and traveled with the Sanders and Rubio campaigns. She is praised by her readers and the political figures she covers for being a fair and unbiased journalist. Her desire is to always simply deliver the story and let her readers form their own opinions based on the facts. Meg is the only grandchild of the late Congressman Ed Jones and his wife, Miss Lou, of Yorkville, and spent her summers in West Tennessee on their beloved Oak Haven Farm. Meg is married, and she and her husband, Jeffrey, have three children and make their home in Columbia, South Carolina. They are co-authors of the upcoming biography, Grassroots Politicking, The Life and Legacy of Ed Jones. The Hardys are strong supporters of UT Martin recently establishing an endowed scholarship for students seeking to become objective journalists. Prior to this, the Hardys and Meg's mother, Dr. Jennifer Jones Kennard, revamped the Ed and Lou Jones Legacy Fund at UT Martin and joined with former Congressman John Tanner and his wife Betty Ann to preserve the legacy of the 8th Congressional District with a gift to the Paul Meek Library Special Collections. You can follow Meg on Twitter at at Meg Kennard AP. And I guarantee you it's interesting and enlightening and always entertaining. To view her work and resume, as well as a list of the newspapers and publications in which her work has been featured, please visit MegKennard.com. I'd like to mention that seated in our special guest section is Meg's husband, Jeffrey, and her mother, Dr. Jennifer Kennard. Thank you both for being here today. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Ms. Meg Kennard Hardy as our speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Carper. And thank you, Dr. DiPietro, for the sweet ride on your plane. I really need to get one of those so I can get out here more often. Congratulations, UT Martin graduates. I can't begin to tell you what an honor it is to be here today. I never imagined I would have the privilege of delivering the commencement address at UT Martin. I'm not an alumna. In fact, when I left Memphis for Washington, D.C., for most of my adult life, I rarely came back to Tennessee at all. So why am I here? Why would you ask a political and legal affairs reporter for the Associated Press who went to Georgetown and who lives in South Carolina to address you today? Well, the answer is simple. If it weren't for the University of Tennessee at Martin, I wouldn't even exist. Seriously. And why is that? Well, it's simple, really. It all started with a cow. My great-great-grandfather, Dr. and Tennessee Senator A.E. Turner of Neboville, brought some of the first Jersey cows to West Tennessee. 
His daughter, my great-grandmother, Blanche Turner, married Dr. Finus Ewing Wyatt, who had a large farm in Yorkville. Dr. Wyatt was a generous man who often allowed his patients to work off their debts on his farm. One day, Gabe Jones, a poor sharecropper, asked Dr. Wyatt if he could work to pay for the delivery of his soon-to-be-born son. Dr. Wyatt obliged and delivered Gabe's son right around the time that he also delivered his own daughter. Gabe continued to work for Dr. Wyatt, and a love story began. The boy that Dr. Wyatt delivered and the doctor's own daughter fell in love. Of course, that boy knew that in order to win her affections, a formal education would be essential. So, with $65 that he made showing those Jersey cows, he set off for what is now the University of Tennessee at Martin, where he worked odd jobs on campus to pay for his tuition. The education he got here prepared him to go on to UT Knoxville, and in just a few short years, he became Tennessee's youngest commissioner of agriculture, and then your 8th District U.S. Congressman, Ed Jones. Now, my grandmother was a teacher, and granddaddy obviously learned quickly the value of a good education. So it should come as no surprise that their daughter, my mother, who is here with me today, hi mom, went to UT Knoxville, UT Med School, and then became a very successful nephrologist. Passing on the love of education, they sent me to Georgetown University, where I majored in international politics and security studies in hopes of becoming a spy. Really. I wanted to be a CIA agent, but an internship with the Washington Post changed my trajectory, and I became a journalist instead. Journalism has taught me so much about people, American politics, and our world. To those of you who are journalism majors, my advice is simple. Question everything. Leave your opinions at home and always, always be objective. Your job is not to share your opinions and biases with your audience, unless you're going to be a paid commentator. Your job is to find the truth and deliver the facts. Just this week, I've been accused by Twitter followers of being a raging liberal and a lover of Donald Trump. Nothing makes me more proud as a journalist than when I get called those names from different people who've read the exact same story. That is when I know I've done my job well. To those of you who consume the news, my advice to you is also simple. Question everything. Put your opinions to the side for a moment and always, always, be objective. Don't just consume news that solidifies what you already believe. Instead, take in all views. Be true to yourself, but always keep your mind and your heart open. The only thing worse than actually being wrong is not knowing when you are. Finally, show grace and love to those who are different. If you're a liberal, get to know a conservative. If you're a conservative, get to know a liberal. The common ground that you share will blow your mind if you give it a chance. Listen before you speak. Everybody just wants to be heard. My granddaddy had a way of making people feel special. He didn't care if you were Republican or a Democrat, black or white, male or female. He knew that the best way to serve this state and the people of West Tennessee was to listen, to love, and to compromise where it didn't violate his core principles. Our republic was founded on compromise. Unless we find that spirit again, it will not survive. 
we've come to a place where the middle ground is beginning to disappear. And I'm not saying that you have to be there, but I am saying that sometimes you have to come there. Don't screw this up for our grandchildren. Take off your blinders, open your eyes and your ears, and listen. I grew up in Memphis, and I spent my summers on my grandparents' farm in Yorkville. As a result, I got to know people from all walks of life. It made me curious, and I soon realized that I questioned many things I had been taught. I'd be lying if I told you I'm a country girl, but I'd also be lying if I told you I'm just a city girl. Granddaddy and Guinea, my nickname for my grandmother, made sure that this St. Mary's girl from Memphis got more than just a formal education. There is, after all, more to life, like fishing, knowing how to ride a horse, riding in the back of a pickup, and, well, farming, of course. So be well-rounded and make sure that as you continue your education, which you should never discontinue, you make sure as often as possible to do it with your face out of the books and your phone. You'll be amazed at how much you'll learn about life and people if you turn off your devices, close your books, and just enjoy the world and the people around you from time to time. I'll finish my speech by saying something that many commencement speakers don't. This day really isn't about you. Yes, you worked hard for this, and here you sit. But for what? So you can get a job, make money, and die? <laughs> Absolutely not. This is about your legacy. What good are we if we don't leave this world better than we found it? You now have a responsibility to do something with your degree. You might be a doctor's daughter or the son of a poor sharecropper, but it doesn't matter. Your choice to get an education has opened doors that will impact future generations, and I am so proud of you for making it. Don't ever think that you don't matter or that your impact is too small. My family has made tremendous contributions to this state and to this country, and the high value they placed on education was a key factor in making that happen. Had it not been for UT Martin, my grandparents might not have married, and I wouldn't exist. But because they did, and because my parents met while they were in medical school in this great UT system, and then sent me to college, I stand here before you today. This is a special place, and you are special people. If you haven't already, I invite you to visit the special collections in the Paul Meek Library. There you'll find a replica of Granddaddy's office and all of his legislative papers over 20 years in Congress. Hopefully, by this time next year, you'll be able to read the book that my husband Jeffrey and I are writing about Granddaddy's life. There's a lot about this institution that's included. He loved this place. In just a few moments, you'll be handed a key that has the potential to open exciting doors for you. As you enter, however, don't close it behind you. You may need to turn around and go find another door or you may need to invite some others to come in with you. In other words, keep your options open, be a team player, and don't be afraid to fail. So with that, congratulations. You did it. Your education means that you can now enter your next phase of life. But as you do, don't ever forget that your degree, while important, isn't everything. 
Keep your faith. Love fiercely. Be willing to compromise on some things and don't overlook the little things. Remember that for all I've done and accomplished in my life, it all started with a cow. God bless you all, and thank you again for having me. Congratulations. Thank you, Meg, for those timely comments. And uh, Meg certainly is, is a great friend for this university, but she's also a tremendous advocate. It was probably July or August of this year, I've got this really good friend who's a banker in um, <clears throat> Miami, Florida. And he sent me a text and he said, hey, um, how much are you guys paying for your, your marketing efforts? And I said, well, we're doing a lot regionally and across the state. I said, why is that? He said, listen, he said, there's this powerful AP reporter that keeps tweeting about UT Martin out there. So, Meg, we appreciate uh, you being a one-person advocate for us uh, nationally. We're very grateful for that. So let's express our thanks to Meg one more time, please. Making today's announcement of the Paul and Martha Meek Leadership Awards is Dr. Margaret Tostin, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. Would the following students please join me on stage? Caitlin Austin, Dorothy Ball, Brielle Good, First awarded in 1970, the Paul and Martha Meek Leadership Award is given to a graduating senior who has demonstrated outstanding qualities of leadership while at the University of Tennessee Martin. The award was established and funded originally by the three Meek children to honor their parents. The first person to receive this award today is Caitlin Austin, a business administration major from Van Leer, Tennessee. While at UT Martin, Caitlin served as chapter president, Panhellenic delegate, music chair, and member of the executive board of Alpha Delta Pi. She was a peer enabling program leader served on the Student Advisory Board for the College of Business and Global Affairs, and was a marketing, marketing student assistant in the Office of Student Life. Caitlin volunteered with the Weekly County Backpack Program, Ronald McDonald House Charities, Relay for Life, St. Jude, and the UT Martin special needs prom. Congratulations, Caitlin. The next recipient for this award is Dorothy Ball. Dorothy is a management major from Middleton, Tennessee. During her time at the university, Dorothy worked with Campus Recreation where she became the first female African-American lifeguard. She served as president of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority and is a member of the Black Student Association. She is a peer enabling leader. Dorothy was inducted into Beta Gamma Sigma International Honor Society 
the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi and was named Greek Woman of the Year by the National Panhellenic Council. She worked as a C.E. Weldon Library volunteer. She served on the Civil Rights Conference Planning Committee, Committee and assisted in Black Student Association's Thanksgiving ba Basket Program. Congratulations, Dorothy. Our third recipient of this award is Brielle Good, a criminal justice major from Newport News, Virginia. Brielle has served as a member of Student Government Association, Tennessee Intercollegiate State Legislature, and served on the Psychology Club Executive Board. She, served, she also served as a peer enabling program leader, and she was a student orientation and registration leader. She served as membership president of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority and was on the UT Martin cheerleading team. Brielle volunteered with several local charities to include Meals on Wheels, Operation Christmas Child, St. Jude, and the Susan B. Coleman Breast, Can Breast Cancer Walk. Congratulations, Brielle Good. Congratulations, Caitlin, Dorothy, and Brielle on your award. It is well deserved. Folks, we have great students at UT Martin. Dr. Rich Helgeson, Interim Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, will now present our honors graduates for recognition. Graduating honors students are identified by the gold cords that are draped about their necks. They have achieved a grade point average within one of the following categories. Cum laude, 3.2 to 3.49. Magna cum laude, 3.5 to 3.79. And summa cum laude, 3.8 to 4.0. At this time, students graduating cum laude Please stand and be recognized. You, you may be seated. Students graduating magna cum laude, please stand. You may be seated. And students graduating summa cum laude, please stand and be recognized. You may be seated. Each year, approximately 15 students are accepted into the University Scholars Program. This program involves a sequence of courses and other activities for a selected group of talented and highly motivated students. Our university scholars may be recognized by the gold medallion they are wearing. This year we have one university scholar who is graduating. Would you please stand and be recognized? They're here somewhere. Let's recognize them. <laughs> Thank you. I would like to recognize a special group of graduates. 
Would all of our first generation students who are graduating please stand. If you are the first in your family to graduate with a bachelor's degree, we want to recognize you today along with members of your family. So would you please stand? There we go. Please send your children to UT Martin. <laughs> In its 2015 Guide to Colleges and Universities, Military Advanced Education, a journal of higher learning for today's service member, UT Martin was selected as a top school offering best practices and opportunities in military and veteran education. UT Martin was evaluated on its military culture and other criteria, including on-campus support, online support services available to military personnel, earning us a top tier ranking. This title is awarded to an elite group of institutions who do the most to embrace military students and veterans and dedicate resources to ensure their success in both the classroom and after graduation. UTM's tradition includes honoring those who serve in defense of our country, and I would like to ask for all of those in our audience who are veterans and stand. To you ladies and gentlemen, we extend our grateful thanks. Thank you. President Joe DiPietro is with us today to bring congratulatory remarks to today's graduates. Dr. DiPietro was elected president of the University of Tennessee by the Board of Trustees in October of 2010 and became our 24th president on January 1st, 2011. Prior to his appointment, Dr. DiPietro served as Chancellor of the UT Institute of Agriculture from 2006 to 2010. As Chancellor, Dr. DiPietro oversaw UT Extension, Ag Research, the College of Agricultural Sciences and Natural Resources, and the College of Veterinary Medicine. During his tenure, the Institute began interdisciplinary programs such as the Center for Renewable Carbon, the Tennessee Biofuels Initiative, and the Master's Degree in Landscape Architecture. Between 2006 and 2010, external grant support for the Institute of Agriculture increased by 30% annually. Veterinarian by training, he earned his bachelor's, doctor of veterinary medicine, and master's degrees at the University of Illinois, Urbana. Before joining UT, Dr. DiPietro served as dean for the College of Veterinary Medicine at some school in Gainesville, Florida, from 1997 to 2006. He rose to tenured professor of veterinary clinical medicine and veterinary pathobiology at the University of Illinois, Urbana, and held administrative positions there, including Assistant Director of the Agriculture Experiment Station and Associate Dean for Research for the College of Veterinary Medicine. Dr. DiPietro and his wife, Deb, live in Knoxville and have three children, eight grandchildren, a cat, and three very spoiled dogs. Dr. DiPietro is, uh, came in uh, to our university system at a time where we had uh, great bill of instability. And he served uh, for the past seven years and has not only brought us uh, back to an era of, era of stability, but his leadership has also propelled us forward. And uh, we've really experienced unprecedented success and we're real grateful for the support he gives us here at UT Martin. So ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Dr. Joe DiPietro. So good morning. Uh, to begin with, I think uh, you all recognize what an incredible resource you have here in Chancellor Carver and what a great job he's done. I'd ask that we all give him a round of applause. <laughs> you know, in my experience being an administrator now some 22 or 23 years, I've never seen anybody come out of the gate or out of the uh, box uh, from the standpoint of a new administrator, the way Keith has and what he's done here has truly been transformational. So well done, Chancellor. Um, Megan, Kennard, 
Hardy is a great woman who's done very much, and yeah, it was a great privilege and honor to have her ride along with us today, along with her husband, Jeff. Um, her accomplishments are outstanding, but I thought her message today was pure silk and divine, and is good advice for all of us, whether you're a graduate, whether you're a parent, a family member, a faculty member, a president, or a chancellor. Well done, Meg. So this is a wonderful day for you uh, to celebrate the achievement of earning a degree from the University of Tennessee, and more specifically, from this great campus here at Martin. I grew up around a place like this, many of you know that, and I have many fond memories of being associated with a campus of this size, this style, and this attitude uh, in Illinois. We are proud of your accomplishments and your attainment of this milestone and excited about the opportunities that will be afforded to you, to you as graduates uh, to see and to use the knowledge you've gained for the betterment of your families and humanity. You've worked hard, no doubt, and made sacrifices. Loved ones have believed in you and they've probably sacrificed too. Enjoy this day, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Take a moment to reflect on it and savor it. Many of us only re remember the relief of today as opposed to what it specially recognizes as Meg indicated. As you go out into the world, I hope you'll think fondly of your times here at UT Martin. Be a proud alumna or alumnus. Value that degree that you worked hard for and all the work you did to earn it. Spread the word about this place, UT Martin, and your experiences here, and encourage others to pursue their academic dreams right here at UT Martin. When the time comes, and hopefully it'll come for you at some point, to give back to your alma mater, I hope you'll do so with a sense of pride and joy. You are part of a highly regarded educational family at the University of Tennessee. Strive to be the best you can in your chosen career path and a shining example of what it means to be a University of Tennessee graduate here at Martin. And while you may see this occasion as an exciting end to one remarkable chapter in your life, it's also an open door to your role as a lifelong learner and advocate of UT and the value of higher education. Remember, the world is watching you and needs you, and as Meg said, and it's about your legacy, that's what counts. Congratulations, congratulations on your excellent decision to seek a degree here at Martin successfully. You are forever members of this UT family. Lastly, be well, do good work, and Godspeed. Thank you. At this time, the academic deans will present members of this year's graduating class for the conferral of degrees. Good morning. In the College of Agriculture and Applied Sciences, will the candidates for the following degrees please rise. Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, please rise. Bachelor of Science in Family and Consumer Science, please rise. Bachelor of Science with a major in Geosciences, please rise. Bachelor of Science in Natural Resources Management, please rise. Chancellor Carver, President DiPietro, the candidates before you have met all the requirements for their respective degrees as set by the wonderful faculty. They are ready for their degrees to be conferred. Please be seated. In the College of Business and Global Affairs, will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree with majors in political science or international studies please stand? Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree with a major in political science please stand? Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration 
with majors in accounting, economics, finance, information systems, management, or marketing. Please stand. Chancellor Carver, President DiPietro, the candidates before you have met all requirements for their respective degrees as set by the faculty and are ready for their degrees to be conferred. Please be seated. In the College of Education, Health, and Behavioral Sciences, will the following candidates for the following degrees please rise. Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Bachelor of Science in Educational Studies. There they are. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Health and Human Performance. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Bachelor of Science in Social Work. Bachelor of Interdisciplinary Studies. Bachelor of University Studies. Bachelor of Arts in Psychology and Sociology, and Bachelor of Science in Psychology and Sociology. President DiPietro, Chancellor Carver, these exceptional students have met all the requirements for their respective degrees as set forth by our distinguished faculty and are ready to have their degrees conferred. Please be seated. In the College of Engineering and Natural Sciences, will the candidates for the following degrees please rise? Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Bachelor of Science with a major in Biology, Bachelor of Science with a major in Chemistry, Bachelor of Science with a major in Computer Science, Bachelor of Science with a major in Mathematics, and Bachelor of Arts with a major in Mathematics. Chancellor Carver, President DiPietro, the candidates before you have met all the requirements for their respective degrees as set by the faculty and are ready for their degrees to be conferred. You may be seated. Will the candidates for the following degrees in the College of Humanities and Fine Arts please rise? Bachelor of Arts with majors in Communications, English, History, Philosophy, and Spanish. Please rise. Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Music, and Bachelor of Arts in Music. Bachelor of Science with majors in Communications and History. President DiPietro and Chancellor Carver, the candidates be before you have met all the requirements for their respective degrees as set by our outstanding faculty and are ready for their degrees to be conferred. You may be seated. Will the candidates for the following graduate degrees please rise? Master of Science in Agriculture and Natural Resources, Master of Science in Family and Consumer Sciences, Master of Business Administration, Master of Science in Education, and the first candidates for the Master of Arts in Strategic Communication. <laughs> Chancellor Carver, 
President DiPietro, the candidates before you have met all the requirements for their respective master's degrees as set by the graduate faculty and are ready for their degrees to be conferred. You may be seated. Before we confer the degrees today, I would like to ask the following groups to please stand and remain standing. The moms and dads of our graduates, would you please stand? Next, spouses and children of our graduates. Grandparents, great-grandparents, guardians, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, other family members, please stand. And last but not least, Friends of the graduates, would you please stand? <laughs> Graduating students, I would like to ask you to stand and remain standing as we, as you and I, give a round of applause to these individuals who have supported you. Let's stand and let's applaud your supporters. Students, if you will remain standing, members of the audience, you may all be seated. Dr. DiPietro, will you please join me at the podium for the conferral of degrees and congratulations to the graduates. Thank you, Chancellor. A moment we've all been waiting for. By virtue of the authority of the state of Tennessee vested in the Board of Trustees of the University of Tennessee, and by them delegated to me, it hereby gives me great pleasure to confer upon you the respective degrees for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, honors, emoluments, and obligations appertaining thereto. You are hereby recognized as university graduates and alumni of the University of Tennessee at Martin. Congratulations to each of you on this special day in your lives. Let's do a round of applause and then you can be seated. At this time, the graduating class will be recognized individually. Announcing the names today are Dr. Robert Nanny, Professor and Chair of Communication, and Dr. Richard Robinson, Associate Professor of Communications. From the College of Agriculture and Applied Sciences, I'll need your name. Hannah Marie Alexander. Joshua Schuyler Allen. Carter Glenn Arnold, summa cum laude. Gregory S. Burford. Thomas A. Bomar, cum laude. Amy Carol Brassfield, magna cum laude. Freeman Andrew Brown. Megan Alexandria Chapman. Jamie S. Chisholm. Erica Lee Clayton. Brennan Chase Cooper, Alyssa Renee Counts, Marianne Page, Page Doris, Christine Megan Edge, cum laude, J. 
Jacob Franklin, Stephen Ernest Hahn, April Don Hawkins, John Michael Horton, cum laude, Christina Ann Jackson, Isabel Lee Johnson Bynn, Katie Rose Johnson, cum laude, Tyler Ashton Laster, Joshua R. Mathis, Ryan David McCulloch, Hannah Ruth Moore, cum laude, Jeffrey H. Mulheron, Brandon Kyle Rogers, <clears throat> Tyler Michael Sands, Jeffrey Aaron Sartain, Caitlin Michelle Sigo, Cassidy Brooke Shambo, summa cum laude, Adam Foster Shell, <clears throat> Lawrence Edward Sims, cum laude, Timothy Lynn Stalens, magna cum laude, Brody G. Stanford, cum laude, Gary Eugene Swingle, Jr., Marley Nicole Taylor, Sydney Beth Taylor, Ethan Taylor Temple, <clears throat> William Thad Thomas, cum laude, James Andrew Webb, cum laude, Cheyenne Nicole Whaley, Faith Boyce Abbott, Amin Alsanan, Gay Lynn Coleman, magna cum laude, Abigail Nicole Conger, Christina K. Cook, Samantha Morgan Dill, Jessica McKenzie Jatan, cum laude, Carmen Nicole Jones, Jessica Danielle Lamastus, cum laude. Caitlin McCall Taylor, cum laude. Deonza W. Turner, cum laude. Mackenzie B. Vincent, cum laude. Chiera Nicole Williams, cum laude. Blake Freeman Callis. Miranda Macy Carlton. <clears throat> Cheyenne Julia Crouch. Colton Spencer Garner. Caitlin Nicole Holtze. April Denise Jones. Benjamin Jeffrey Kuhn. Shelby Lynn Pendervis, Pendarvis, Sharon Renee Rador, Daniel Paul Scott, Jonathan Wayne Wilson, Colton Ray Wimberly, Zach Taylor Woolworth, Michael Burklow, Michael Thomas Durham, Eric R. Seitz, graduating in the College of Business and Global Affairs, Emily Brooke Allen, cum laude, Mari Ali Alebas, Yusuf Salman Adasari. Omar Adroman Alasid, Yaya Ibram Alasati, Zainab Alasati, Caitlin McKenzie Austin, magna cum laude.
Colton Tyler Beeler. Samuel James Carlton Bell, magna cum laude. Tyler Andrew Boggs, cum laude. Travon E. Boyd. Dorothy J. Boyle, summa cum laude. Clint Austin Brown. Ariel Janay Butler. Vernon J. Calvary. Courtney Brooke Carroll, magna cum laude. Bree Ariana Cobb, magna cum laude. Haley E. Coleman. Schuler Estelle Horton Cornett, cum laude. Amber Lynn Cunningham, summa cum laude. Colton A. Daughtery, cum laude. Corey Andrew Day, cum laude. Casey A. Donovan. Justin Blake Edney, cum laude. Kayla Ann Ford, summa cum laude. Logan Patrick Hera, cum laude. Jonathan Henry Hefley, magna cum laude. Meredith Gray Henson, magna cum laude. Jermicia J. Hudson. Audrey Mache Jenkins. Hunter Edward Knight, cum laude. Abby R. Lenegar. Don Dakota Lewis. Taylor Yvonne Lewis. Ann Lokilis, cum laude. Timothy Caleb Long, magna cum laude. Taylor Page Martin. Amia D. McNeil. Dallas B. Montgomery. Cameron Christian Moore, cum laude. Dustin L. Murdoch. Claire Elizabeth Newbill. Keegan Lee Parker. Autumn Elizabeth Peden, magna cum laude. David S. Prince. Colin Michael Pruitt. Lillian Nicole Reynolds. Danielle Yvonne Rickman, cum laude. Chandler Jalen Rowe. Benjamin Noah Savage. Jeremiah A. Scott, magna cum laude. Dylan Thomas Skelton. Jalen LaVon Taylor. Brett Andrew Thompson. Chase M. Thewitt, summa cum laude. Shane Allen Webb, cum laude. Sarah Caroline White. Jonathan R. Williams, magna cum laude. Bennett Allen Wimberly, summa cum laude. Hannah Catherine Wood, summa cum laude. Mary Caitlin Workman. Jessica Michelle Wright. Yang Zhu. Z Zhu, cum laude. Yi Yang. Xiu Yao. Shigan Zhang. Yu Zhao. Jason Sean Ziegler. Abigail Hope Bowling. Caitlin Dawn Brown, magna cum laude.
Kimberly A. Larios, Katie Lee Nixon, Frankie R. Ward, Drew Stephen Cagle, magna cum laude, Antoinette Marie Schottler, Marcus William Van Cleve, graduating in the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences, Melanie Brooke Allen, cum laude, Justin Ray Bailey, Haley Marie Benefield, magna cum laude, Terica L. Bonner, Brandon Heath Dickens Brown, magna cum laude, Caitlin Taylor Marie Cagle, summa cum laude, Jarabion J. Cole, Austin Michael Duran, Brielle Marie Good, Kelsey Ray Hartman, Kelly Daniel Hendon, Rebecca Diane Moore, cum laude, Heather Shea Morris, Jessica Dawn Morris, magna cum laude, Alexa Shantinia or summa cum laude, Shelby Robinson, Jessica Brooke Carey, magna cum laude. Ooh, ooh. Tiffany Bell, cum laude. Catherine L. Cardwell, magna cum laude. Georgia Taylor Wade Clayton. Kelsey Lynn Collins, magna cum laude. Candace Marie Crumby, cum laude. Allie Elizabeth Cunningham, cum laude. Mackenzie Brooke Denton. Shelby Nicole Dotson, magna cum laude. Alan Joseph Duncan. Alicia Sherry England, cum laude. Michaela Ruth Frederick, cum laude. Linnell A. Gladney, summa cum laude. Cody Allen Goins, Jessica Nicole Graves, Caitlin J. Hescott, magna cum laude, Carly Brooke Johnson, cum laude, Lindsay Gail Jowers, summa cum laude, Emily Ann Lacey, summa cum laude, Jessica Christine Lagasse, Cum laude. Mary Angela Mangrum, magna cum laude. Angela Nicole Mathena. Deshay Monette Mays, summa cum laude. Amy Michelle McAlpin, summa cum laude. Natalie Taylor McCulloch, magna cum laude. Jocelyn R. Mosley. Jennifer Lorene Miracle, cum laude. Kaylee A. Pritchett, cum laude. Rachel Susanna Reeves, cum laude. Rafael Rodriguez, cum laude. Matthew Dylan Seleski. DJ Michael Sheets, cum laude. Michelle Elaine Stinson, magna cum laude. Anna L. Trammell, cum laude. Nic Nicholas Keith Wilson. Charlene Diane Wyatt, magna cum laude. Taylor August Zantop, magna cum laude. Taylor Nicole Alderson, cum laude. Shakela Christine Atkins. Yeah. 
Jenna E. Bennett. Kiana Lusha Blakemore. Kaderan D. Bond. Joseph Christopher Esta. John Patrick Fowler. Paul Galeski. Samantha Brooke Gearing. Garrett Martin Goodlett, magna cum laude. Matthew L. Grantham. Ryan DeMorris Halliburton. Liberty Cheyenne Harris, magna cum laude. Allison Deanne Hayes, magna cum laude. Alexandria Marie Huey, magna cum laude. Courtney Page Jones, cum laude. Robert Aaron Lowry. Brittany Nicole Mora. Selena A. Newbill. Jeffrey Dillon Pale. Sonum S. Patel, cum laude. Mary Beth Powell, cum laude. Kaylee P. Smito, cum laude. Darian J. Simmons. Kelsey May Slaughter, magna cum laude. Lauren S. Smithwick, cum laude. Ashton Marie Tatum, cum laude. Savannah L. Warner. Sean Andrew Weeks, cum laude. Cassie Lynn Wright. Kyle M. Rushwin. Angela Hawkins. Andresha L. Brasher. Margaret Ellen Fusion, cum laude. Haley Lauren Gillian, magna cum laude. Kiera Lachey Hart. Leah Delane Hutchison, magna cum laude. Jennifer Lynn Lamb. Danielle Mason Case. Timothy M. McLean, summa cum laude. Marilyn Naomi Mendoza. And Dina M. Murphy. Deja Lavette Robertson. Kayla Elizabeth Trice. Andrea Jornay Williams. Hosea E. Carballo. James Ryan Connor, cum laude. Fazer L. Curry. Dashiana S. Davis. Jamie L. DeVolt. Ashley Brooke Edwards. Mindy Elizabeth Grayovic. Lakeisha Nichelle Hendricks. Joseph Graydon Hutchins, Jr. Kristen Blair Jacks. April Lynn Joyce Rushing. 
Robert Cornelius Lacey. Billy Mansfield, magna cum laude. James David Osborne. Catherine Faye Pierce. Daniel Wayne Ricketts. Brittany Ann Starnes. Lakeisha Lene Tipton Colon. Caitlin Alexandria Walker. Anthony M. Wheeler. DeMonte Juval Daniel. Citavius Amon Martin. Justin Gregory Jackson. Shaquela Cole. Catherine Lynn Daniel. Ulysha Lene Gibson. Erica G. Murillo, magna cum laude. Jacob Ryan Sharp. Caitlin Sprayberry. Jacob T. Thomley, cum laude. Crystal Gale Winstead. From the College of Engineering and Natural Sciences. Savannah N. Ducker, cum laude. <laughs> Mohammed Khaled Burkari. <laughs> Brandon Taylor Kuhn. Matthew Justin Harris. Brandon M. Hendren, magna cum laude. Austin R. Lenegar, cum laude. Gary Martinez. Trevor Keith Tatum. Andrea Danielle Austin, cum laude. Logan Elijah Bates. James Larry Cruz, cum laude. Maria Brooke Gonzalez. <coughs> Paul M. Gosser, summa cum laude. Alexandria Marie Harris. Lisa Marie Teresa Harris. Ariana Lee Howell, cum laude. Sarah Catherine Jackson. William Lee Kensinger, cum laude. Kirisha D. McCright. Hannah Lee Morty. Sophia Olivia. Euphoma Peace Otebele. Nisha Dinesh Patel. Davis M. Raider, cum laude. Caitlin Danielle Ridley, summa cum laude. Tandria Tanel Taylor. Eric Velazquez. The newest graduates from the colleges of, uh, College of Humanities and Fine Arts. Mason Tillman Boyd. Princess Kiev Anne Buchanan. Corey Marie Campbell, cum laude. Olivia Nicole Mitchell. 
Grace Elizabeth Carlton, cum laude. Kendra Elizabeth Cook. Ricky Clay Dotson. Dexter Lee Dockery, Jr. Lauren Kate McKinnon, magna cum laude. <coughs> Rachel Elizabeth Jean Medford. Jacob O'Neill Moore. Lauren Ashley Moore, cum laude. Angel Riley. Taylor J. Spencer. Christina M. Shaw, summa cum laude. Michael B. Cortez. Kendall King Hayes, magna cum laude. Connor Reno Henson, cum laude. Michael Michelle Mattingly, cum laude. Stephen Randall White III. Grant Harrison Casey. Holly Elizabeth Graves. Jana J. Jackson. Denton A. DeVolt. Natalie Carol King. Seth A. Livengood. Michael J. McGrath, cum laude. Sarah Jane Reagan, cum laude. <coughs> Andrew W. Sims. Now graduating with the master's degrees as denoted on their hoods. Austin Lane Kendall. Bethany Wood Burton. Benjamin T. Miller. Kenneth Wayne Pierce. Jason W. Ruddick. Ashley Nicole Marshall. Erica S. Snipes. James D. Copeland. Adam Whittier Foote. Jason Elliott Magar. Glory Kamlish Patel. Alicia Renee Salim. Kathleen Tuggle Scott. Matthew Dalton Smith. Kendall K. White. James L. Woody. Devin Michael Earhart. Ariana Jean Dykus. Thomas Allen Farrington Hess. Caitlin Shea Harris. Jessica Coffer Lafoy. Caitlin E. Morris. Sarah Adrian Plout. Courtney Green Spaulding. Adam T. Brimer. Caitlin Elizabeth Long Doherty. Natalie Lynn Medling. Bradley Stringfield. And Amanda Vaughn Pinion.
Again, congratulations, graduates. You are joining over 46,000 graduates of the University of Tennessee Martin, located throughout the world. Mr. Mitch Pollard will now bring greetings from the UTM Alumni Council. Good afternoon, and I must say that that word was a little intimidating because the first platform speaker said good morning, and I'm saying good afternoon, so I will not be before you long. Uh, on behalf of the University of Tennessee Alumni Council, it is my privilege to welcome you to the ranks of UTM Martin alumni living around the world. Your hard work and dedication to your continuing your education has prepared you not just for a job or another step in your career, but a journey in lifelong learning. Your education does not end today. It only just begun. Your friendships at UT Martin, and I say that again, your friendships at UT Martin, because many of you all haven't seen some of the people that you graduated from high school with since the day you graduated from high school. But these people, you will see. They're lifelong friends, trust me. Uh, UT Martin faculty will aid you in your future endeavors. Faculty and staff remain committed to your success long after you walked across this stage. As you leave UT Martin and set out to face new challenges in the days, weeks, years ahead, remember the UT Martin Office of Alumni Relations and, al and al annual giving and UT Alumni Association are here to support you. Please stay engaged with your alma mater. Become involved in your regional UT Martin alumni chapter and visit this campus often. More importantly, keep your alma mater in mind when you have exciting news to share. You spent several years working hard to earn your opportunity to walk across this stage and to receive your degree. You have moved your tassel from the right side of your mortarboard to the left to signify your accomplishments and challenge and change in status from students to alumni. <laughs> Class of 2017, you have achieved a great milestone by, gradu by this graduation today. On behalf of the UT, UT Martin Alumni Council, I wish you every success. Congratulations to our new alums. As we close the ceremony, I invite each of you to join us for a reception honoring the graduates and the Skyhawk Fieldhouse adjacent to this arena. The reception will begin immediately following the conclusion of this program. The singing of UT Martin's alma mater, which is printed in the program, will be led by UT Martin music majors. Audience, will you please stand and remain standing until the platform participants and members of the faculty have departed the arena. Thank you. 